And this is part 4 video of our topic, Western Classical Art Tradition. Let's learn more about the Roman arts. Centered in the city of Rome, the civilization of ancient Rome ruled much of Europe for over 1,000 years. The arts flourished during this time and were often used by the wealthy and powerful to memorialize their deeds and heritage. The Romans admired the Greek culture and arts. After conquering Greece, they brought many Greek artists to Rome to make sculptures for them in a Greek fashion. The art of ancient Greece had a great influence on the art of the ancient Rome. Roman painting survives mainly in the form of murals and panel portraits executed in a realistic style. Roman painting provides a wide variety of themes such as animals, still life, scenes from everyday life, portraits, and some mythological subjects. Four styles of wall painting. The first style, which could be called the masonry style, creates the illusion that a wall is composed of stone blocks, especially marble, of various colors and patterns. The second style could be named the three-dimensional style. A scene is painted with realistic shading and deep perspective, creating the illusion that one is looking through the wall at a scene beyond. In some cases, the scene is framed with architectural elements as though one were looking out from inside a building. And the third style, which could be dubbed the tapestry style. Rectangular areas of solid color are the dominant visual effect. Each rectangle is sparsely covered with fine decorative elements, yielding the overall impression of a wall covered in large, lightly embroidered tapestries. Sometimes, a realistic scene is embedded among the tapestries, as though it were a frame painting hanging on the wall. The fourth style, which could be termed the hybrid style, simply merges the second and third styles. Deep perspective and three-dimensional architecture are merged with the rectangular tapestries and frame paintings. The main innovation of Roman painting compared to Greek art was the development of landscapes, in particular incorporating techniques of perspective. Some landscapes were fewer scenes of nature like gardens of flowers and trees, architectural vistas depicting urban buildings, and landscapes show episodes from mythology. The Romans also made pictures from colored tiles called mosaic. The mosaic have been able to survive the test of time better than the paintings. Sometimes, the tiles would be applied direct at the site of the mosaic. Other times, the tiles in the base would be made in a workshop and the entire mosaic installed later. Mosaic could be an art on a wall, but also work as decorative flooring. Roman sculpture was heavily influenced by Greek sculpture. In fact, Many of the Roman sculptures were just copies of Greek sculptures. The wealthy Romans decorated their large homes with sculptures, and a lot of times these sculptures were of themselves or their ancestors. Other popular subjects for sculptures included gods and goddesses, philosophers, famous athletes, and successful generals. Roman sculpture played an important part in Roman daily life. Sculptures took the form of full statues, bust, architectural includes narrative reliefs upon triumphal arches and columns, and sarcophagi. The ancient Romans decorated with sculpture in a number of places, including public buildings, public parks, and private homes and gardens. One of the most popular types of sculptures in ancient Rome was the bust. This is a sculpture of just the head. Wealthy Romans would put the busts of their ancestors in the atrium of their homes. This was a way for them to show off their lineage. Two types of Roman statues may be identified, the standing figure and the mountain figure. Roman emperors would often have many statues made in their honor and place around the city. They used this as a way of commemorating their victories and reminding the people who was in power. 
A relief sculpture can represent a far wider range of subjects than a statue because of its economy of resources allowing a better understanding of the messages. Reliefs are carved directly onto walls, portals, ceilings, columns, floor, and other flat surfaces. They are ideally appropriate to architectural projects' decorations. Early Christian sculpture culminated in the form of sculpted sarcophagi. A sarcophagus, meaning flesh eater in Greek, is a coffin for inhumation burials, widely used throughout the Roman Empire starting in the 2nd century AD. Roman Architecture even more than the rest of the Roman art, reflecting the practical character, restless energy, and organizational mindset of its creators. As the Roman Empire expanded to engulf not only in the Mediterranean region, but also large areas of Western Europe, Roman architects struggled to achieve two overriding aims, to demonstrate the grandeur and power of Rome, while also improving the life of their fellow citizens. They mastered a number of important architectural techniques including the arc, the dome, the vault, as well as the use of concrete. Using these methods, Roman engineers designed and built some of the greatest public buildings in the history of architecture, including temples, basilicas, amphitheaters, triumphal arches, monuments, and public baths. And this is the Roman arts, their painting, sculpture, and architecture. I hope you learned something new today. Until then, see you in my next video. God bless.